We do what we want, TV. I'm live right now, my boy Eli, man. We lead, never follow. Squad. This is the livest college station in the nation, WHBC 96.3 HD3. I go by the name of Amadeus the Greatest. What's up? It's your girl, Leah. And we have a very special guest in the building. If you are, if you don't know him, I don't know where you've been. You haven't been under a rock. Go ahead and introduce yourself, man. Amadeus Faka. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he in the building. <laughs> what we doing? How man. you been? I've been all right, maintaining. Got a different outlook in life, but you know we maintain. And what? What do you mean by that? What? What's making you look at life a little bit different? I see shadows now. I don't see people. Hmm. You know what I mean? Because when you see, when you look at a person as a person, you be let down. But when you wow. when you see a person as a shadow, his characteristics are built his his whole body, his whole structure. Hmm. Right. So now you know the face of a liar. Y'all, uh, y'all talking about Walker for president, Walker for preacher. Um, Walker for preacher, I'm gonna walk you, in my I'm church. gonna be, yeah, right. I'll be secretary. <laughs> I'll hold. We gonna build a church. You ready? Church? I'm not a Baptist, so I can't do a church. You don't have to be a Baptist. I don't have, you a, be I don't have a religion. I don't. I, to me, I don't want to do a religion. Religion is religion is division. Hmm. You follow me? So I don't. I don't, don't want to like I'm a Baptist. You're a Christian. You're a Muslim. I'm an atheist. Oh, you're a Jewish. Oh, right. Come on. Right. Right. You're human. Well, speaking about the whole Walker for President movement, we Come already on, know man. what's going on, man. So what's what's the latest update for Walker hey, hey, Walk, Walk for President? Walker for President, basically all I did Walker for President to like enlighten my peers, enlighten the youth. Like, when I was in school, I went to Ronald McNair. Mm -hmm. That's an astronaut, you know what I mean? Like, kids, I was sitting next to somebody who really wanted to be an astronaut. I was around somebody that wanted to be a lawyer, a doctor, a dentist, a firefighter. But no, no kid today want to be none of that. You want to be a wrestler, you want to be an athlete, or you want to be a... Actor, or oh, you want to be a rap, oh, you know what I mean? In sports, right? Right. It ain't even fun for all the real stuff in life. Like we don't got nobody working for NASA. Right. right. We don't got no. We don't got nobody in school trying to figure out how to clean the water. Right. But we got we got people. They 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 got they got kids paying attention to if you white, if you black, or if you this, or if you that. You got to pay attention to reality, man. We losing touch of reality, seriously. Seriously. Right. So it, it's it's crazy because I I do a show every day, but. You know what I'm saying? Right. My reality where I lived six years, seven years ago, it ain't my reality now. Right. right. All right. So look, looking into the future, Walker gets selected for 2016. Nah, I don't want to be. You don't want to be 2016? Nah. <laughs> the Congress, 2020 the, the, Congress, the Congress control the president, so yeah. mm -hmm. I want to be a man that control my voice. I want and squad I trust. You know what I mean? I want my squad. Would you? I said, I don't want the Congress to tell me nothing. So how you feel about Kanye running, planning to run for president right. in 2020? Right, because right, you know. Honestly, I don't, I don't have an opinion. I feel like nobody should have an opinion. Because mm. we don't know what he's talking about. You can't opinionize nobody on what you don't know what he's talking about. We don't know Barack Obama from a can of paint until he popped up. That's true. true. Very true. So, <laughs> how, so, so, so how could you criti criticize Kanye? How could you criticize a Waka Flocka? But you're not going to criticize a new guy that just popped out of nowhere. Right. right. I'm not saying Barack Obama either, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I won't get gunned down in the bathroom. Uh, <laughs> he'll be outside waiting for you. But I have a question. You are talking about your realities being a little bit different. Do you think since you've gotten married, um, a lot has changed for you? Ain't nothing changed. Nothing. 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 I've always been a loyal man. Like it's, you know what I'm saying? We men. Men men, men, men do stuff men do. You follow right. me? But I'm 29 years old. I'm not yeah. out of my age. Right. And I came before a lot of other rappers that's acting 18. True. I'm not afraid of being a man. True. You know what I mean? Because I've never seen a real man in my life. I was always raised around him. So why not try to be be better than what you grew up around? Right. So was, because I know a lot of people were introduced to your relationship off of Love & Hip Hop. Is that, because y'all were only on there for one season as far as really being on there. No, not to cut you off. Why did Love & Hip Hop like to empower my spouse? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I want to show people that black people are minorities, not just black minorities. Right. That we ain't just no raunchy, ratchet, right. old people. Right. Like to see a woman past 30 years old, right, acting like she's 16, it's crazy. When you walk past a grown woman now, you like, she on what I'm on. I'm 18. She's 35. Like, right. She like, you know what I mean? She right. on what I'm right. on. She in the club. She rocking. So I'm not going to approach her. Right. I'm right. back in the day, you couldn't even approach an older woman. You had to say, miss. Right. Now it's cool though. Ain't no age limit. Ain't no gender. That's all they doing. They just dumbing down everything. They dumbing down the law. Right. So if you could go back, would you have done loving hip hop or? Of course. I ain't, I'm not afraid. I'm not ashamed of loving hip hop. You see, I never gave my all. Yeah. Cause that definitely. ain't reality. It's TV. Right. right. I'm too real for. I'm too real for TV. No, and and the whole time y'all's um, 
anytime y'all were shown, I feel like everything was authentic. Like I never felt like at any no, point they ain't it was. No, play with me though. Yeah, yeah I never felt like it was rodent because there's a lot of stuff. Let's be real, that's definitely written. You can tell when stuff yeah, is set they, up. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, it's, it's so, television though. Right. Tell lies to your vision. That's television. But I feel like you, your mother, your wife, everything on there was completely authentic. You have no choice but to put people. You, you let me tell you something. On life, this ain't just TV. This ain't walk a flock. To make fake things real, you have to put something real there. Right. That's what we so happen to be the real people. Yeah, definitely. I, said, I, I just want 100 bands an episode. You want me to. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I ain't mad at you. And I'm low balling. Like, y'all making M&Ms. I know Sparks. what's going on. You know how they do. You know how they do my, um, what they say, black people. All black people want to do is be famous. That's right. right. We don't want to learn the inside of If you hmm. put me on the show, let me executive produce it. Right. Nobody really was messing with Love Me Hip until we hopped on. Like, let's be logical. Yeah. That's all another monster. Like, I, yeah. That wasn't even my focus in life, so it was just so it's like, a, like, a, like a restroom stop. I feel you. All right, so let's talk about right now, man. The Turn Up Guys Tour is in effect. It's crazy. How's it going so far, man? I love it. Love it? What's been, what's been the, the turn, most turnt city so far? I don't know, bro. Everybody that come to my <laughs> show be like, dude. <laughs> You know what they want to do. That's real. It's back to party and get phone numbers. That's real. That's it. All right, so let's talk about the mixtape. You did it with DJ Who Kid, and you know you basically transferring over or mixing mi mixing your style with the EDM style. So what what have been the pros and cons of doing that? What's been the the challenges? What's been the the you know the best parts of it? Um, yeah. the pros. It's not too many pros and cons. I feel like I feel like um. The fans I started off with, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? My core fan base, shall I say. They always been black, white, Spanish. Always had a huge Latino right. following. Like, people sure. don't even notice. Like, I noticed that my show, Instagram wasn't out. But I got videos of this. Like, cassette tapes to the T. I'm like, four boxes full. Right. I can't wait to start putting stuff out. But my core fan base, I did it for three years, man. From 09 to 2012. When people said I couldn't even rap. So I'm like, yo, I, I accomplished my goal. I got to where I need to go in life. But to me, mentally, I couldn't go to the next level because I wasn't ready. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was still stuck on, on the tedious things, on on grabbing this small cash. So what I did was, and plus I ain't know, I, I couldn't rap from a can of paint. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, these other rappers were growing up from 5 to 20 to 25 practicing. Right. So my practice was in the arena. So I, I got an opportunity to go to Electronics. They was booking me. They was, you know, they was loving my music. I had like two big records over there without me even knowing. So I got booked for that. I'm like, I might as well stick over here, get a whole new fan base that people buy. I ain't got to pay it. It's organic. That's real. So I organically got new fans for three years. I've been doing it. Same as my time I've been doing hip hop. So, I, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm, I'm just a kid from the ghetto, man. Like, I, I'm, I'm appreciating it. everything God giving me. That's like, real. That's it. I'm just, I just don't want to hang in the hood drinking lean and got my pants. Like, I don't, that ain't my swag. You know what I mean, yeah, my boy? Yeah. Like, I, like, where I come from, like, if you if we if we selling D and I'm not marketing this, we don't want to be selling D. You follow me, man? Yeah. Like we don't want nobody to know we in the streets. We want to get out of the streets. That's right. Right. I like, feel like a lot of people forget that. Like you work so hard to get out the streets, so why are you still trying to be street? Yo, I, I ain't come to rap to right now. Like walk, walk, I'm dropping Fox Valley too. Now I'm hanging in the hood. Mm. Boy, I've always been in the hood to this day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's a little bro holding the camera. I'm in the hood every day. I, but I just don't market it. You follow me, my Because this right. is nothing to be marketing. This is dead serious, man. Right. right. You lose your life here. You get yeah. money here. Like, it's serious. And people are really hypnotized, too. They don't really understand because I think it's like this cycle thing that we we trying to get a fabulous life. Like, yeah. But you know you, you know what it is? It's like it's like us being from the hood. We Why wouldn't we watch a prestige movie? Why wouldn't I? Well, we, we would be, we'd be interested in it. You know why? Because we never lived it. Right. So right. everybody's so interested in the ghetto because they ain't never lived it. So music and what, what the artist show them, that's the ghetto. That's their television, persona. Television took it over too. That's it though. But but we as the people in the ghetto, we exposed it. You know right. what I'm saying? So right. you, you people can't get mad at an artist for being an artist when you empowered that artist. Right. Like people are like, yo, man. Why he ain't come down? We just talking about like um, the Ferguson thing. Like, why mm -hmm. all these rappers ain't come down? Because they don't understand it. You know what I'm saying? They looking at it mm -hmm. from a, um, from a creative standpoint of view instead of being there and, and standing up. You follow what I'm trying to say? That's just all it is. Like people don't understand. I, to me, I just do my history before I talk. Wow. I wow. Should. So speaking of you know speaking of your your upbringing basically your past and everything yeah. you born in Queens. Yeah, born in Jamaica, Queen. Raised up in uh, Riverdale, Georgia. Yeah. So, like, looking at now, looking at the music scene now, what is it like? Um, and I'm from I'm from Cobb County. So, what is it like 
I you know, my looking at the uh, <laughs> looking at the uh, the hip hop scene right now, and it's basically Atlanta, 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 yeah. Atlanta. What is it like? You know, looking at it now. But you you was one of the you one of the big it. pioneers. You know, you said you've been doing it. So what is it like looking at it now? It's crazy, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Like <laughs> most of every rapper that came, I used to see him with brick squad shirts, right? Jumping up like, oh, let's do it. Just to, just to see him, like I used to see a lot of people that rap. Like, yo, bro, you make it look easy, bro. I'm like, bro, it is easy. You could do it. <laughs> it's just easy. Like, you know what I'm saying? So just to see people that, I ain't got to name people because I ain't got to seem cool. Like, I'm a big dog. You follow me? Yeah. Right. My bark will let you know what's happening. Come on. So at the end of the day, I just see people like, yo, bro, I grew up on you, bro. I love you, bro. Da -da 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 -da. I'm looking like, yeah, it's crazy. But I'm so I'm so ahead of the game that I, was, I, I never knew that I was the, the founder of it. You know what right. I'm saying? Because I'm the man yeah. walking. I'm not the man for credit. I don't even, to this day, I don't even want credit. Really? You follow me, man? That's yeah. just legacy, but it feel, it feel amazing, man. I remember going to Atlanta. Everybody thought Atlanta people just dancing. and they was just that funny was acting. Yeah. <laughs> so we came out with and paint. So, um, so I say I say this. To look into any young, artist, any young artists and talented souls in Atlanta right now, what would be your advice to them? My advice to them? Educate yourself, man. Point blank, touch to the streets. You follow what I'm trying to say? I feel like if, if you coming out rapping, it's cool to have all your boys behind you. That's real. Yeah. Somebody got to have some business about themselves. Somebody. Somebody ain't smoking. Somebody ain't drinking. Matter of fact, a couple of y'all. Right. Everybody shouldn't be the star, man. Hmm. To me, people entourage got more swag than a rapper. True. It's crazy. Like, when I see rappers and I see the entourage, they're like, you dressing like him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you talking like him because he got the sauce, man. I think you sign him. Like, right. That's crazy, man. All right, man. So, Flockavelli two, when is it? When 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 is it? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Flockavelli two. I'm finished right now. Southside, my producer. They just they just ready. going in, correcting, cleaning up. So we ready. It's just a lot of attitude, man. I feel you. It's a lot of attitude. What can we expect? Cause I'm I'm excited. We haven't heard from you, and I'm ready to go. Like I'm ready to be turned. <laughs> we got bangers in there. I don't know, man. I I never knew Flockavelli one was hard. <laughs> You know what I mean? I'm just expressing myself Respect. like, I feel you. to me, I don't go off record sales and awards, like, because I'm at a show every night. Like, I don't care if it's 100, 200, 20,000. They, they, you know what I'm saying, bro? They, they mess with me, bro. So to yeah. me, a fan is a friend. Right. Definitely. Follow me? So, can't, can't no record sales or award tell me who I am, man. I've been everywhere in the world, bro. So out everywhere. So I know where I stand at. I'm just expressing myself. People are like, yo, you promoting this, you promoting violence, you promoting this. I'm like, yo, fraternities is no different from a gang. Wow. Um, you follow what I'm trying to say, so on. you can't tell me nothing about a game. Right. But why can you promote Bloods? And they, they can stick like KKK out here, man. Shut up. Which is that's a game. Fast. You follow me? That's so what is a game fast. when you put in a game? Or oh, you promote drugs? Or Ritalin is a, is a, is a, is a what? It's the same as um, cocaine and um, heroin. The same act of drug. But the right. government, so, so when you throw jabs at me, man, I'm throwing hooks back immediately. I'm just expressing myself. If you don't like our, you don't like our sound, tell the government to change the ghetto. Right. That's it. Definitely. We here though. You profound. I respect it, man. I, I yeah. really, I, I really touch on when you said a fan is a friend. I think a lot of artists really need to have that yeah, mentality. Like that. coming That's out. why I jump in the crowd. Cause to me, I'm like, yo, you paid your bread to come see me turn up. Like, why would you kill me? Right. Why would you stab me? Of course, of course, fans go grab you, be rough. You know what I'm saying? Cause they overexcited. Right. Five minutes die down, they realize, all right, walk. Yeah, we cool. <laughs> but for the first five minutes, people be excited, my dog. Right. Like some people, are like, oh, oh, like run. What are you running from? Right. That's a yeah. fan, man. They got you the way you at. They put them shoes on your feet, boy. Right. You know what I mean? So, different. I think your longevity has given you a lot of wisdom because you can definitely tell the difference between someone coming in here like you and someone who just got the hype, just got the fame. It's yeah. running to their head. Of course, I ain't gonna lie. When I first started, I was just. I was just, I was in a blender. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't think I was going to go this far. So right. I'm like, oh, wow, how you feel? I don't care about that. I'm in the hood. But then you realize when you go out your hood and travel, I've been away from my hood before for six months, five months. Right. And I've seen reality in another country. I've seen poor. i seen a kid. And I asked this boy, man, he's been 14 years old, bro. This man never in his life owned sneakers. Wow. Ever in his life of living, seen sneakers, man. I look at him, I was like, What? I gave him everything, man. He probably can't even fit it. I ain't even kidding. <laughs> like, it's crazy. Like to right. me, to me to see poverty, like that's Real their ghetto. Poverty. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. And I, what we call our ghetto is they suburbs. Wow. Wow. Yeah. It's it's sick. They it probably ain't even suburbs. They probably the rich. That's deep. That's what traveling does. It really opens your eyes. Man, it, it, it killed me, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. It killed me. Right. It, 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 it changed the game.
Well, well, before we get out of here, it's the 40th anniversary here at WHBC. Oh, so yeah. we got one question for you. If you yeah. could have 40 of anything right now, what would it be? 40 of anything. Like an actual number 40. We didn't heard a couple. We done kind of heard some interesting ones. Father said uh, 40 houses with 40 maids. Gold Link said 40 boxes of Lucky Charm. So if Waka Flocka could have 40 anything, what would it be? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know, bro. Right now. Right now, no I'm good. That. You good? I'm not trying to, hey, try to ask humble, humble, humble enough, but I'm good. Definitely. That's what's up. Like, I don't even need forty. All I need is like some. I'm good though. Respect. That's what's boys, up. No, I definitely my respect boys, that. Some, some, some cannabis, some, some video <laughs> games. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, definitely respect. My hey. wife for vacation, so I don't need one. That's real. Yeah, that's real. Hey, man. Well, we appreciate you for coming you through. For coming you know through. you're a busy man, dog. And we, we appreciate you for showing love to us. This is your sure. second time coming by the HBC, man. We love to have you again, especially yes. when Flockavelli 2 drops. So I'm going to be on yes. that. So definitely, please come by, man. Y'all already know what it is, man. WHBC 96.3 HD3. I go by the name of Amadeus Gator.